In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and activate Eventide plugins that you purchase on PluginBoutique.com. So once you've made a purchase of an Eventide product, just click My Account on PluginBoutique.com. You can see here I've got the Ultraverb Reverb plugin. Now go ahead and download from here. Make sure you choose Mac or Windows and the newest version. It should be automatically selected for you anyway, but just in case, it doesn't hurt to be sure. And right here we have two numbers. We've got the serial number and the license key. And those are important numbers, so if you wanna copy and paste those somewhere or just keep this page open in your browser for future use, I highly suggest you do so. Now, there are two other things you need. And once you do these things for one Eventide plugin, you'll have them for any future Eventide plugins as well. You're gonna need an account on the Eventide website. So just go ahead and create an account. I already have an account and I'm logged in, so I'm just gonna click my account here. And then we're gonna register a new product. You're also going to need iLock License Manager. Many plugins use this. Uh, so if you're going to install it for the first time now, you're gonna be using it a lot. So no need to worry about it. We have many guides on how to install and use iLock. I'll leave a link to those tutorials in the video description below. I'm not gonna go over it here, but you do need iLock for Eventide plugins. Over on the Eventide website, we can register a new product here or a new product here. So let's just click one of those links. From here, we want a native plugin, VST, A-U-A-A-X, and then whatever plugin you've purchased. So I have Ultra Reverb plugin, I'm gonna choose that. And now I'm gonna put in the serial number and the license key. So let's jump back over to Plugin Boutique, and the serial number is right here. Now it already has RE loaded for me, so I'm just gonna copy the numbers here, jump back over here, paste them, go back, for the key, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the numbers and letters here after the colon, jump back, put that there. And now I'm going to put my iLock account username. You're gonna to have to set up your iLock account before you do this step and then put in whatever username you've registered there, right here, and I'm gonna click register. And it'll give me a notification that the registration has been successful. Next thing I need to do is go ahead and install the plugin. Just double click the installer, click next, read and accept the agreement. Choose what versions of the plugin you want to install. If you're not sure here, just go ahead and leave everything in, uh, checked. I'm only gonna install the 64-bit VST2 and the documentation. I'm gonna click next. Where are your 64-bit VSTs? Uh, if again, if you don't know or you're unsure, just leave it as the default. I'm going to change mine to a custom location where I keep all of my VST2s inside of the D drive, VST2, reverbs. Click next and then click next and it will install. Once it's finished, click finish. And before you launch your DAW and launch the plugin, you need to launch iLock. I'm gonna go ahead and launch iLock here. Go ahead and sign in using the credentials you just created or your previous credentials that you already had set up. And this is the list of plugins that you can activate. Now I have a lot, if this is your first install with iLock, you'll only have one, but essentially all you need to do is find Eventide and then find Ultra Reverb, which is the one I just installed. So I'm gonna right click this and hit activate. And it's gonna say, where do you wanna activate? I'm just gonna activate on this laptop I'm using. I've activated it and I should be good to go. So let's go ahead and launch Ableton Live. Okay, here I'm inside of Ableton Live. I'm gonna jump into my plugins, my VST2 folder, my reverbs, and there's my ultra reverb. Click and drag and drop it, and fully ready to go. I hope that helps, and I'll see you around.